Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel, whether you're new or you're coming back. Thank you for joining me today. This is our daily Twin Flame check-in. Hello everyone. <laughs> Let's dive right into the reading, but please, please, please don't forget if you enjoy what I'm doing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. This helps me circulate these messages with more people. Uh, the channel has been doing well lately and i like to keep it going i have many more great ideas some of the content that i like to bring in and uh the more successful it's going and it's doing uh the more energy and resources i will have to provide that content free for everyone for public usage okay let's get started with an oracle card today we've got the cosmic journey oracle and as always i'm starting with the card for divine feminine collective let's see what's going on we are fast approaching pluto moving from capricorn to aquarius as well as the full moon in leo <laughs> whatever speaks to you more you know leo and aquarius funny enough are the opposite energies uh but what i was also going to say that yes Pluto is a generational planet and we spoke about it a lot last year when it was in Aquarius for a couple of months that is going to get to it for like 20 years. That's not it yet. This is a few months. Most of this year is going to be Pluto in Aquarius. So it's going to be very interesting what kind of breakthroughs it's going to cause. We saw that actually in, the, in yesterday's reading, I think. Breakthroughs are coming in. That's very much a Pluto in Aquarius energy. So yeah, let's see what it's gonna bring in. So feminines, your message is wanted. Universe creators, 31. Uh, yeah, so if you've been missing messages the last few days, this is another one <laughs> calling you onto your mission and uh, reminding you that you are a universe creator and your light shines so bright that right now the planet needs you more than any other time that's why you're here and yes you are ready for masculines we have number 25 the phoenix rises into joyful abundance so this is like the death and rebirth energy but this is the rebirth part so Especially for those masculines who feel like they've been through the arena or like it's been just too overwhelming, all the things that were happening and you had to deal with, they were just thrown your way. Uh, you had to figure it out quickly. Like this is a time when it's coming together and you finally see what was the point or how it was actually a blessing in disguise. And what new energies, new opportunities, new important people it's bringing into your reality. The main read, I'm going to use the uh, Dreamway Tarot today. Let's see what we have for the collective. I'm doing my usual spread. Yesterday I did the DM reading. So I brought back my little Oracle deck with messages from DM Studios. Make sure you check that out. And of course, I'm doing my daily shorts. So that's fun, as always. A quick pick me up, some food for thought. Bottom of the deck, four of swords. Yep, yep, taking a break. I get that it's a general vibe in the collective right now, that there is a bit of a quiet energy and it feels like calm be before the storm, actually. Before, before Pluto moves to Aquarius and brings in challenges and questions, your status quo, and it's trying to show you a different way. So for those who have been struggling to find a different way, that will be shown to you quite naturally. So happy times for you guys. If you've been pretty content with how things have been going, mm, it might challenge that in a way that you may not like at least at first. But of course, the important part is to stay open-minded to be able to see how you can improve your current situation. Bottom of the deck for this deck, the lovers, yes. 
A journey to full love comes in when you are in a balanced and harmonious state. And that's one of the reasons that things have been shaken up because it was like the fact that things haven't been changing much doesn't necessarily mean that they've been good. You know, it was just kind of like in the stuck energy, kind of like stuck in one big chunk. So it's hard to move it. So it wasn't moving. Right now, things are going to be broken into pieces, which may seem like a bad idea, like, oh my God, oh my God. But that's when you can start moving things around and they can start growing and developing. Hope that analogy helps someone <laughs> to get my point. My feminines, feminines. You have Ace of Pentacles clarified by death. I saw death and I was like, Phew. That's too much on the nose <laughs> with the breakthroughs we've been talking about. But yeah, again, this is the part, the rebirth part. This is the part where you're starting to see new partnerships, new projects, new even just creative ideas. But it's suddenly very vivid. It's if before you were getting ideas in this direction, but they were all very subtle or very abstract. And you're like, yeah, it seems too far-fetched. Or like, I definitely need more time to flesh out the details. This is when you see that vision or that dream and all the details are there. Like you can see exactly what you're supposed to do or how that idea that you had is going to get implemented. Wow. Masculines, ace of wands clarified by the strength. Ace, ace, you get it, you get it. Uh, for masculines, a big part is to have the willpower for change. Right, so this may not, I mean, this is also action, by the way, wands are action, but this may be, may not necessarily be as obvious. This is more about that internal feeling, that solar plexus chakra that's getting activated and masculines are ready to go, right? This is that rebirth where like, they get this jolt of energy, this enthusiasm to discover it to be. And with this card, especially because look, they're cuddling actually, Look at the line, like the eyes are closed. And Serence is Leo energy. Wink, wink, full moon in Leo. But anyway, uh, so what I'm getting is that there is this willpower for openness and softness, right? And look at like, this is the lion and it's portrayed as something like kind and soft, right? And cuddly, like a teddy bear, right? The lion becomes a teddy bear. Right? And that masculine energy within masculines, if it's more rigid and strict and like has, I don't want to say it necessarily emotionally unavail emotional unavailability, but like if there is distance, usually now it's like the walls are coming down, that kind of energy. Additional question, 10 of wands, <laughs> clarified by seven of cups. <laughs> What's the confusion twins? What are you not sure about, right? It's like, just too much going on and you don't want to make their own choice. There is that fear. So what 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 about the feminines? Three of Pentacles clarified by Knight of Wands. So you don't want to jump to quick collaborations or to quick conclusions, especially around money, right? Like you don't want to just go on the whim and then lose big time. This is in your head, uh, but of course, like trusting doesn't mean that you don't do your research, right? Or you don't analyze, or you don't listen to yourself or whoever you trust in this situation. It's like, especially while you're learning to communicate with your intuition, with your guides in that way, right? Like the more you practice, the more you just know when that message, that download comes to you, you just know that's where it came from and you trust it, right? But like, you don't ask a lot of questions. <laughs> While you're learning, like, you don't have to make quick decisions just to prove to yourself or anybody else that you have faith and you don't need to analyze, to think about it, to do research, right? No one's saying that. So if you don't feel comfortable with making a choice there, then and there, uh, take time for yourself. That's healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. For masculines, we have King of Cups, clarified by Seven of Pentacles, another seven. Yeah, so the masculines are afraid that, um, they're afraid of going for something without having a plan. Like when they are guided by feelings rather than 
solid facts and ideas like a business plan right like it's that situation where someone would invest into a business based on the fact that they like the owner and the way they talk or um i don't know they have a sweet spot for the product uh, but not like in a way of like, yeah, 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 this is a sure thing, but like, yeah, this sounds amazing. I love this product, <laughs> right? So without doing any market research, you're like, yep, yeah, there you go. And you've invested, right? Like, so masculines are afraid of doing something like that without like having good solid data. And of course, this was just an example. It could well be um, building a trusting relationship with someone, right? And again, like on the surface, it doesn't seem like a good risk so so to speak and they have doubts whether they should open up their heart so easily it's part of a learning curve newsflash <laughs> if there are any masculines watching this is exactly how you're getting trained in these things so up to you of course what you decide which way to go play it safe or go for a risk but essentially, by taking this kind of risks, by stepping outside of your comfort zone, you are learning. And you'll find out uh, in time, you know, whether it was supposed to be a positive experience all along, or you were supposed to learn through a negative experience. But most of the time, from my own story and um, conversations I had with other light workers, for the most part is supposed to be a positive experience it starts becoming more negative when you either overthink or when you don't agree to make changes freely right like that resistance kind of keeps building up and that energy like keeps building up and then there is that explosion where sometimes you're forced into change if you're not willingly making it and it doesn't mean that it starts with that. It means that there were already attempts for your higher power, for your guides, for the universe to get you on the right track. And you didn't use those chances. So now it's like very much in your face, like slaps you in your face. How are feminines and masculines, the empress and the shadow side? I used to think that the shadow side card in this deck is the judgment, but it's actually... Um, the devil which makes sense <sighs> yeah so two major arcanas feminines are seeing how masculines are overcoming um limiting beliefs in being creative in taking charge of their life and uh taking care of people around them but from a space of abundance from realizing their power right there's a lot there right and ego is still trying to sneak in and play some games that's the devil energy so there's almost like this uh juxtaposition or this like what is it called like a you know like a hero and a villain um in a in a movie or a play right like there is that um opposition right but in opposition because it like keeps pulling dms one way or the other that's when the truth is being born how are masculines seen feminines? Seven of Swords clarified by Temperance. So feminines prefer to take their time with revealing certain information, with um, opening up all their cards I'm getting. You know, like when maybe, it's not like they've been lying, but Seven of Swords is still like energy of like keeping something to yourself, right? So maybe there have been some hurt feelings or uh, some like actual secrets, like personal stories that were like for some reason they aren't uh, comfortable telling you just yet. It's all gonna happen in good timing, but for now, this is like a healing process to me. Like that, that alchemy, that rebalancing, it's almost like they're not ready to talk about it until it plays out, until uh, there is an closure to that story. And then they'll be in a wiser and more healed place where they can talk about it uh, in a healthier way, you know? So it's a lot more objective and it makes a lot more sense too. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I love you all, and until next time, bye everyone.